welcome to this episode of the Industry Expert Series. My name is John Watson, and we are continuing our discussion on PCB data management. And in this episode, we're actually going to be looking at what is PCB data management? Now, above the simplest answer, of course, PCB data management being the management of data, which would be a cop-out, really. So it would make it for a very short morning here. PCB data management is defined as the acquisition, storage, verification, usage, distribution, and the maintenance of the data used in your design, fabrication, and assembly of your printed circuit board. Data management system is not an object, though. It's not a, it's not a, a object, it's more of a process. And a process is really a sequence of interdependent linked procedures which at every stage of that process consumes one or more of resources. And we then convert inputs into outputs. And those outputs then serve as inputs for the next stage until you reach a known goal or a result. So really what we're looking at when we, when we talk about PCB data management is we are looking at a process. And let's break down this definition. Let's look at acquisition. Before we talk about the hows and where and all these different uh, details, where do we get this data from? Well, I can tell you that every PC begin, begins with a component. And it begins with that data sheet. And, but I give you a warning though. Data sheets come with a, with, should come with a huge warning that says trust but verify. I have seen more problems develop with PCB designs because of wrong data sheets. A, a very simple solution for that, and something that you could put into practice right now, today, would be to verify the accuracy of your data sheets is to have multiple suppliers, have multiple sources that you would have for that component, and then compare data sheets. The second uh, part of that definition was about storage. So how do we store this data now? Where do we start putting it? Well, that's going to depend on, on your company needs and how your company is structured. And, but there's some common things, though, when we talk about storage of your data. First off, it's got to, you've got to easily be found. We all, remember the great, we all remember the great ending to the Raiders of the Lost Ark, don't we? When they found the ark and you know they bring it in and all of a sudden they they wheel it into a, a warehouse never to probably be found again well a lot of times that's our data and if we don't have a structure we don't ha have it place where we can actually easily find it then it's useless to us the other thing is regarding our storage is always arrange for easy expansion and what that means is this your, our hope is that your company grows and that as it grows, your library is going to have to grow with you. And we hope that that growth process, you don't have to start over or you, you uh, basically paint yourself into a corner, as they say. The next, the next key of that definition was verification. Accuracy is vital in our industry. And this is done by an audit process, and we're going to be looking in more detail in all these points throughout this series. And this is all done through an audit process. And during that audit process, what you want to do is you actually want to quarantine all those unverified components that you've got, all the unverified data that you're using. You want to take your data and you want to verify it. Trust, but verify. That audit process is a gatekeeping item for you and your company, meaning this, that, that component cannot be used in a design until it's released and verified. I have seen situations a lot of times where components that have not been verified have been used in designs, and then it gets over to the fabricator and to the assembler, and it turns out that, well, we had wrong data on our designs. The next stage of that definition was usage. Now, this is an internal process. How do you use the data? It, understand that in the PCB design process, as the roles are involved in the, those uh, inter, interdependent uh, stages of taking an input and developing an output, there's roles involved. 
and there's information, different data, and we're actually going to be looking at in, in upcoming episodes, we're actually going to be looking at in more detail these roles involved and exactly what data is involved. You know, when we start developing this and start stockpiling all this information, a lot of times what happens is it doesn't get to the people that need to need it the most. So our hope is that we need those people that need that specific information will actually get it. So we can actually, we'll go through some examples of that and everything else. Now, if that's an internal process, then what is your external process? Well, that would be your distribution of your data. That's your external process. And this is at the point where you're at the back end now, where you're now going to be looking at putting your output data out and your fabrication and your assembly process. The rule there is security. It's about security of your data. And it's about your fabrication and your assembly not going to the same facility, that not giving all your information over. The last area of this, what is PCB data management, is maintenance. A lot of times once we, we release our data and we throw out that information, a lot of times what happens is we forget it. We, f we have data there and it seems to work fine, but we never realize that that is that information is living information. There is both static and dynamic information in that library. And there needs to be a review process of an audit of changing that dynamic information and knowing when to change it. Otherwise, what happens is your information becomes stale and useless to us. So in conclusion, the key takeaways that I want you to, to take from this episode is this, always acquire your data from a verified source. Take your data sheets, know that those data sheets are correct. Store the data so it can easily be found. Trust but verify. Have a verification process in place. Always know who, what, and when the data is needed in your design process. Have standard fabrication assembly packages that you can easily put out and that are secure. And lastly, keep your data fresh and usable in your design process. I would hope and I would encourage you to share this episode with your friends your, and your colleagues. And I hope that this has been helpful to you. In the next episode, what we are going to be looking at is what is involved in a successful data management system. Thank you for listening. My name is John Watson.